So go ahead, take your time going down and just read me those words from the top to the bottom. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. Oh, you're right. Um, um, brought, uh, bought, mm -hmm. interested, knowledge, peace, euphemism, euphem euphemism. Mm -hmm. Unless I really dig deep into this one, I don't that have an answer. Really hard. The yeah. answer is really hard. This seems like elementary school. I, I feel embarrassed. All across this country, kids are not being taught how to read, how to read the words. This is a misunderstanding that has to be exposed, that the system works for most kids, and it's those few that fail. And that's a lie. Look it up. It's everywhere. Uh, you will see over 60% of children are not reading at grade level proficiency. I was definitely hiding, keeping this secret to myself because I was embarrassed. More than anything, I felt like a fraud. I remember I was always nervous to get called on. The teacher would realize, like, who would read the best. They would eventually just continue calling on that person to read. I would always struggle. 17 years I taught public high school in California. I could not read, write, or spell. According to BeginToRead.com, two-thirds of students who cannot read proficiently by the fourth grade end up in jail or on welfare. Half of them cannot read. 50% can't read. I ask myself, is that a coincidence or is it intentional? The suburbs, the white flight, people run into the suburbs, and how our government created the slums as someone who grew up here, someone who has been incarcerated. I was a product of my environment. The school in the poor neighborhood got all the government funding. They got all that money, all those resources, but performance didn't improve. There's a notion, a belief, that kids start to read because they've matured to the point where they're ready to start reading. It's not correct. The reading wars, should we be teaching kids phonics? or what was termed whole language. You can see the wind wind through the valley because of the fog. Wind and wine are pronounced differently. They're spelled exactly the same. Phonics does you no good there. It is contextual. The theory was they just need to memorize a whole bunch of words and that that's what good readers do. They say, no, it's all about comprehension. And I say, well, but if they can't read the words, how can they comprehend? It's almost like suggesting that a child who was listening to Mozart all their life you put them in front of a piano and you say, now you play Mozart. The research is unequivocally solid that phonemic awareness is absolutely critical to reach your highest potential reading and in spelling. It's something that we use all the time when we're reading and we don't even know it. It's a lot more than phonics. It's the mechanics of how to read. My daughter's kindergarten year, I was in the classroom. I saw their teaching instruction. She had directed them away from the words. Look at the picture. Do you think it's a bear or is it a fox? It stopped me in my tracks because it was everything that I had taught myself to do to look like a good reader. And so you have to ask yourself, if we have this data, if we have this knowledge, why does there have to be a war? When we know that the outcome of us having that debate is literally the trajectory of someone's life. If people only knew, totally tears you apart. It's like having a cure for cancer and waving it and saying, get it for yourself. This entire issue requires a grassroots movement of parents and educators who are angry and who say enough is enough. We're not dumb. We're not dumb. It's not too late.